Seoul is the front line of a clash between those holding on to traditions and those embracing the Western cultures. But some things never change. Sunday is a Korean thing, thought to have been invented in the 13th century, probably served at a place similar to this, a shoes off, sit down place with wooden tables and no chairs. Here, they claim to serve the freshest, the best sundae. And I'm more than ready to try it out. Oh my goodness. Oh. Smell? To be honest, it's not visually mouthwatering. It's almost grotesque if you know the ingredients. Pig head, intestinal tubes, and even worse, bags of pig blood. Yet, it tastes amazing. Uh, it just smells like fresh. It smells like fresh, delicious food. Oh, it's so good. The sundae is served both in stew and as a side dish. It kind of tastes like, uh, like jambalaya and a sausage. Like any good homemade traditional food, the preparation starts the night before and in the early morning. The broth is boiled overnight with pork bones. But the core of the stew is the sundae inside the soup. Every morning, the sundae is made like this. Chopped onions and sprouts, freshly washed rice, hand-picked pork that's grinded, and finally, the blood. Once the filling is ready, it's stuffed into the intestinal tubes, which have been cleaned overnight with flour, and boiled in some <laughs> mystery liquid. The best part of the soup is once you get to the bottom, there's so much meat. New and different things always scare us. We don't like changes, and it takes effort to embrace things that stray from the norm. But really, taking a bite out of something that's different? Ugh. How much harm can it really do? Oh, it's the best.